All right, guys, I decided to just record 13.6 in case some people couldn't join us or can't get to this. So let me just pull up. You can see me do it on my whiteboard. So, here we go. Um, so here's the first one, 3 twelfths as a decimal. And I'm gonna use this document camera. So what I would do first is figure, this is put this into simplest form. That makes it the easiest. If you don't remember rainbow factoring, one times three, then we could do one times 12, two times six, three times four. So what I'm gonna do here is I see they both have a three, <clears throat> excuse me. So I'm gonna take three twelfths and I'm gonna divide them both by three. I know there's, so we're using all of your skills and that equals one fourth. Now I know that whenever I see a four, if I times it by 25, that will give me 100. Okay, so then one times 25 is 25 hundredths. So this equals 25 hundredths. So that should be the answer to number one. <clears throat> Which was B. Oops, excuse me. Okay. Now the second one here. I'm going to kind of, oops, sorry. Let me write it down real quick so I can get it. I would convert all of these to decimals first because you need to have them in the same form to see which ones are the same. All right, here we go. Get this here. Okay, so the first part is 16 twentieths. I would, since I don't want to do lots of multiplication, I would do the same thing. I would put this in simplest form. I know that 16 divided by 4 goes into 4, or is into 20 as well. 16 divided by 4 is 4. 20 divided by 4 is uh, 5. Sorry, my brain left. Then, you want a 10 on the bottom or 100 always so that you can make it into a decimal. 5 times 2 is 10. 4 times 2 is 8. So that's 8 tenths. So that would look like this. Or 0.80. 2500 would be 0.25. That should be easy. 6 eighths. I would probably do the same thing. I, would, I can take a 2 out of both of these. Something you're going to learn is that whenever you see three fourths, it's going to always equal 0.75, but if you don't know why, you can do the steps. You can have 100 four times 25 is 100. Three times 25, it's like having three quarters. I don't know, equals 75 cents. It's 0.75. Last one down here, three fifths. Make it have a 10. So you actually have to go and do all of these to figure out the answer, which I know takes time. So this is six tenths. So now we can go back and see what our choices are. So 16 twentieths is the same actually right here. So we're lucky because this is actually the right answer. All right, nine twentieths as a decimal. There's that 20 again. So 20 times five is always gonna give you 100 on the bottom. So we have nine twentieths. 20 times five is 100. Nine times five is 45. So that should be 0.45. So that would have been C. All right, and equivalent numbers, again, you kind of have to do the same thing we just did. So let me write those down. 
You're gonna have to convert them all to decimal. Four fifths, three one hundredths, which is pretty easy. Fifteen twentieths, three fiftieths. So there's no really fast and quick way to do these except to do them. So four fifths, that could be a 10. Five times two is 10. Four times two is eight. Eight tenths is like this, or you can write it like this. Oops, my face is in the way. Three one hundredths. Now this can be confusing to people. There's no tenths. This is a hundred, so put a zero there. There's no tenths. There's only three hundred, so it's like having three pennies. And same thing, how there's that 20 again. So we want to make that a hundred. There's a couple ways you could put it in simplest form first, but if you want to do it this way, you can. So 20 times four, oops, sorry, 20 times five is a hundred. 15 times five, Seventy-five. So that is 0.75. And the last one, three fiftieths. I could have a hundred on the bottom. Fifty times two is a hundred. Three times two is six. Again, it's six hundredths, not six tenths. So six hundredths looks like this. Not 0.6. That's six tenths. So let's see which one of these go with the answer. Right, four fifths, we did not because that equals 0.45, so that's wrong. Three one hundredths, that is not correct. A lot of people might have chosen this one. This is three tenths. This is like having 30 cents, and this is like having three cents. 15 twentieths was, we decided, 75. So three fiftieths, this is actually six hundredths, so it should have been B. And the last one is five tenths. I'm just erasing this. So let me just pull this up here, five tenths. So you could do it, or you could leave it like that. <laughs> five tenths is written like this, or it's written like this. It's like having 50 cents. And five tenths is always, if you took it in simplest form as a half, and anytime you see anything equal to a half, it's 50 hundredths or 50 cents or whatever. So it should have been C. So I did answer those ones. But as you see, you have to do the work on each of those. You have to solve them and put them into a decimal or you have to put them all into fractions and be able to compare them. Um, so that's probably maybe why some of you have a hard time. <laughs>